So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to today's video. FIFA 23 is finally out this week. If you have Ultimate Edition or EA Play Pro, etc., you will be able to play it right now. Otherwise, you'll have to wait till I think it's Friday, which isn't too bad. But anyway, this is the plan for these videos. What I'm going to be doing in this one to start with, we'll do one match, probably Man United, Man City. I'm going to show you the settings for the PC version. This is the PC version, folks, right? From Origin. It's a little bit different this year than it has been in the last few iterations of FIFA. Obviously, we now have the next-gen version on PC. That's the big plus. Uh, and then I'm going to start putting out a couple of matches today. So probably Man United, Man City now. Maybe a Real Madrid, Barcelona in the next video in a couple of hours. After that, I might go to the lower teams in the Skybet Championship just to try them out. Uh, and then Friday, I will be streaming the start of probably a career mode, right? So that's going to be the game plan. All right, sounds good. Let's do this. And today's video is not sponsored by EA. So I can be very blunt as I always am. Right, so let me first of all show you guys the settings, right? So it's changed a little bit as I'm absolutely tangled up here. Good Jesus. Uh, so if you go into the settings on PC, before you used to have to do all this before you got into the game. Well, they've changed it this time around. So go to game settings. And as you can see, there's a nice long tab across the top. There is this training center if you want to use it. I don't bother with any of that stuff. Uh, you can now, well, it's not now, but they've literally changed the wording for game speed. So you've got fast paced or slow paced. I am going to be playing all these matches on slow, okay? I played kind of one match on normal and it's still far too fast for me. So I'm going to be putting this on slow paced. If you go and all the all the other settings are kind of the same, right? You've got your rules, you've got your audio, you can change these on and off if you're streaming, etc. And you can also turn on and off the commentary and all that stuff, but we're going to keep it off uh, for this one. All the sliders will be on default as well. There doesn't look like there's any additions to the sliders. They're exactly the same that they've always been. I think it would have been nice maybe to add some more, you know, mix it up. You've got your accessibility for all that if you want to do the color blindness and the contrast and everything else. And you can also kind of tweak these larger clickable targets as well, uh, on-screen pause and subtitles, narration, etc. But if you now switch over to the display configuration, this is where you can change the resolution, the graphics, rendering, etc. This was never like this before. This was all done beforehand, but now you can do it in game. So you can do the resolution. I could possibly do this up to, you know, ultra wide, but we're not doing it. I'm keeping it on 2K. I like to play on windowed mode just because I am on my ultra wide monitor and it would just look ridiculous. You can lock the frame rate if you would like, or you could leave it on no limit. I'm going to lock it to 60 FPS and you guys can actually see my frames per second in the top left. So there, no, that, that way you can see them. I have a decent computer, but I will say, it, it, I don't know, it wasn't running the best during cutscenes. It was almost going down to 30 frames. Uh, they've got the dynamic resolution scale as well, so you can output resolution will change on the fly. I leave this on. I don't know why. Why not? You can also turn on and off or put it on auto, realistic sort of strand-based hair. This is quite, I, I guess it's very computer heavy. So if you your computer is struggling with this, turn it off. I've left it on auto uh, and then rendering you have got auto although when I put it on auto it looked like pathetically pants I don't want it so I've just put this on ultra if it gets a little bit choppy then we can always put it down you can change these on the fly in the game as well the only thing that we need a restart is the strand based hair so there we have it that is all the settings on the PC so I just wanted to cover those for those wondering. Now, let's get into some action. I'm going to go and set everything up, and then I'll be right back. I'm not going to bore you with all the uh, menus because they're exactly the same. We're all about gameplay today, folks. So without further ado, I'll see you in a split second. Okay, so this is it. 
This is it. I will show you my settings as well. I'm only doing this for this video. After this, when I put out the other matches, I'm just going to get right into the gameplay. I will leave what I'm using in the description so you know. Uh, so when you pick a team, as always, you know, you go through the menus. Uh, you can go up to the top now. I don't know if this was a feature last year or not. I can't remember. Look, I didn't play FIFA 22 a whole lot. I played it at the beginning just to let you know. But then once the updates came out and made it like a ping pong fest. No, I, I forget it. Uh, but you can go to women's teams and then obviously it's going to change on the fly and give you all the updated Premier League women's teams. I don't know who's in the Premier League for the women's. But there we go. But we're going to play with the men's. And of course, we're going to do Manchester United and we're going to do Man City because that is happening over the weekend. Uh, there are the kits. So we've got, of course, the red the white and then we've got the vomit color as well lovely vomit style uh, but we're going to give them the red for traditional sakes uh, and then of course you've got man city's home away and uh, their third vomity kit as well and we'll keep their standard stuff right when it comes to the menu and the the team selection not going to bore you with it i'll show you that in game but very very quickly this is what i am playing on I've turned on the competitor master switch just so we've turned all this nonsense off. I can't stand agile dribbling. If you guys don't know me, I'm a veteran Pez man, okay? I like to play these games at a slower pace. Uh, everything else I have put on semi. So you've got semi passing, semi shooting, semi crossing, semi lob pass and lob through pass. Why not? I'm going to try them out instead of putting them all on assisted. At least I won't kill myself that way. Uh, trying to play on manual will be a disaster. Uh, and there's the rest of them. And then uh, when we've got shooting, I do use square to shoot. One thing I have, a very weird thing about doing, I, I do this personally. It's a Pez thing, but I always change teammate contain. It's normally like this. I like to put it, I don't know why, but I like to tackle with R1. I know, I think it's because it's right near sprint and you can kind of press both of them at the same time. I don't know. But anyway, there's my settings. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we'll override it because it's exactly the same. All right, without further ado, folks, let's do the business. So we're going to be playing on six minute halves. We'll play this on world class. I'm not going to go crazy on legendary, okay? World class. Uh, we're going to turn off this player base stuff. Don't care about it. But we will play slow paced. Okay, this is going to be a slower paced. Random conditions are fine. And uh, everything else looks lovely. Of course, you can always up the grass as well. We're going to put it nice and lush for this one. Uh, and you can also change the pitch wear and all that jazz too. All right, without further ado, let's dive into this. The first official match on FIFA 23. Uh, I'll see you guys there. So here we have it coming up next. Blimey, look at that hairdo. So as you can see in the top left hand side, these this is 30 frames. So it doesn't look like these cutscenes are going to be at 60 FPS, which is rather interesting. Uh, I've turned off obviously any streaming type of music. There will be a little bit of music at the beginning of these matches. Uh, but look, we all know, we all know that FIFA 23, even FIFA as a whole, is a very good looking game. Some of these faces of the players are just getting so lifelike now. It is madness. And, you know, they, they do a fantastic job. The presentation is phenomenal. And there it is. There's Gundogan. Look at that. He's even got the bushy, messy hair. Bosh. But yeah, Manchester United fans just sitting in the corner. Just a little uh, a slither of them. But there is uh, Mr. Anthony himself. Oh, I forgot to change the lineup. Oh, well, we're going to be playing with a default Man United lineup. I would have put Casemiro in this team, uh, but it's actually McTominay. So we'll, we'll take a quick look at the uh, the lineup. There's Edison. We've got Walker, Ruben Diaz, Laporte and Cancelo at the back. De Bruyne, Rodri and Gundogan in the middle uh, with Bernardo Silva. Haaland and Phil Foden will be the attacking three. And Gundogan is the captain. For Manchester United, David De Gea starts between the sticks. Dallo, Varane, Martinez and Malassia at the back. McTominay, Eriksen and uh, Mr. Bruno in front of him. Sancho on the left, Anthony on the right or the other way around and Rashford up top. Yeah, Anthony on the right, Sancho's on the left and Rashford's playing through the hole. Yeah, I probably should have started Ronaldo, but it is what it is. He will still come on in the second half. You know, this could be the lineup that United play if Rashford's not injured. I don't really know. 
But yeah, I haven't played this on slow yet, so this will be interesting. I mean, there is De Bruyne. Looks ridiculous. I mean, look, Konami, you've got things to do when it comes to the graphics if you want to get to this level. But for the first time ever, we are playing on the PC with... Uh, what's the name? With the next-gen version. So away we go. Now, I should have probably put the names above their heads because that's what I like. Right, so we are playing on slow, and I can definitely tell you that this feels a much better pace uh, than what I was playing on before on normal. We're playing on the standard camera. You see uh, Man City not doing a whole lot here as uh, we're literally just walking through here. Well, where is everyone? Well, no one's there. Well, that was easy. What's that all about? It's like Man City couldn't give a monkeys. I mean, we're playing on world class. Uh all right, well, that was a, a fairly routine goal. I don't know what on earth Man City were doing defensively. Rashford had a chance, deflection, and then he puts it in the back of the net. I will say I generally don't feel a massive difference between playing on semi and assisted. I, there really isn't a huge difference. I think everyone should just be playing on semi, to be honest. You don't need it that assisted. But anyway, there we have it. One goal after four minutes. So let's see, um, well, we'll see what Man City can do back here. I don't know if maybe putting it on slow, the AI suddenly become moronic. I mean, that could happen. I've seen it happen before. My biggest thing right now is the AI not really doing anything. They're all standing around as they always are. But we aren't playing with any differences on sliders. I mean, this is too easy right now. Man City are just all over the shop. Anyway, here is uh, Haaland. Yeah, second half, I'm going to change it. I'm going to put the names above the players' heads because it's just the way I like it. And uh, here we go. Give it back towards Anthony. And he's going to offer United something else because, you know, the guy's got good feet saying that. He's lost it. Anyway, here comes Haaland. Gets it out wide to uh, Phil Foden. Let's uh, sprint back here with Dallow. Head through the middle. Oh, just defending on this game. It can be annoying. It certainly can. And that will do. Actually, you know what? The next time the ball goes out, I'm going to make changes. But yeah, I will say the pace isn't terrible. Oh, there's Haaland. But we are playing on slow. That's all day. Come on, son. But yeah, we are playing on slow. But yeah, previously, I don't know, playing on slow often messed up the AI. So I, I hope that isn't the case. But we'll see. And that's a whopping save from David De Gea there. Core blimey. All right, I need to make changes with the, the, the things. Hang on. All right, so we've turned on the old name bars. So now we can actually see the players' names above the heads and get rid of all those silly bars underneath. Uh, but yeah, we're going to put a couple of matches out today. There's Rashford doing the business. Just for those of you wondering how this game plays, that's why I'm putting these videos out. Some of you might not be picking this up till Friday. Not everyone is going to do early access. So, you know, some of you might want to see some of the top teams. Some might want to see some of the lower teams. We'll see. It's good play this by City. And that deflection was... Very kind for David De Gea. Right, we do have a chance to break now. Let's see what Man City do defensively. Sancho. Malassia. We'll, we'll, we'll try and possess as well. You know, I generally like to try and play some sort of possession and not just go mental with the old tick attacker. Right, Anthony. Well, we've got space out wide here because Man City defensively here. Absolutely useless. Now, I, I don't know what they're doing. I... We'll try, I don't know, is it the world class? I mean, is world class that easy? Just not seeing much from them. But we'll take it. I mean, it's 2 now, isn't it, boys? Nice bit of play from Dallow. Dinked it up. Rashford probably should have scored that, but... It's 2 now, isn't it? I'd love to see this happen on Sunday. All day, every day. All right, two goals to the good. Don't know what's going on with uh, the home side here. But yeah, we're going to be playing around with sliders anyway eventually. I'm just keeping this strictly on default because, you know, a lot of people don't like to play on sliders. Uh, and if that's the case, that's fine. I'm just going to try and... Oh, that's absolutely... That's like defending with me there. Blimey, as I would defend in the other side. Not great. Not great. Haaland causing the save. Nice little save there with the old feet of uh, Mr. David De Gea. It's out for another corner. It was at Man City's third corner of the game. And here is De Bruyne. Oh, hold him up. Hold him up. Hold him up. Don't dive in. Now we'll dive in. Oh, you've missed it. 
Bernardo. Well, we've been absolutely walked around there. Luckily, they cannot finish to save their life, but... Oh, maybe defending's pretty atrocious. All right, here we go. Because I haven't played FIFA in a long time, people. And there's the old Scottish accent. It's always coming out. Here we go. Rashford's done brilliantly well. And we've got another chance. It's like Man City's defensive line is so high. I'm going to try and see what he does here. Oh, he ran off. It's so high, it's, uh, it's making it very simple and very easy to get through. Anyway, they've got a chance down the flank. We're going to have to pull Varane out wide here. So again, I just can't stand the defending in this game because I can't defend in this game. Oh, jeez, Louise. Everyone, once again, just standing around. Well, we're going to have a lot of goals in this. <laughs> Woo! Well, Haaland's doing what Haaland does. Often scores. I just... I really wish FIFA would, like, change their defending. It's... It's not so much the actual defending, it's like when you are up against the AI and they start twisting and turning all over the place, you can't keep up with them. It's not physically possible. Blimey, that's a close look at his mouth. Don't need to be that close, lads. All right then, we're back to the drawing board. Two goals to one. But yeah, I do think Man City's, I don't know, it's their shape that probably needs to be, you know, refined a little bit because they are playing so attacking. We've got space all over the place. But there's not much movement. And again, where is, where's the defending from them? Should I be playing on legendary? But I just I feel like world class should at least be a challenge when it comes to defending. All right, get up the line. I've forgotten that you can actually ask them to do that. Right, whip that in, and that's a goal. That's what I mean. What is up with this defending? It's sham bollock. Let's see if we can run into the uh, the fans here and ruin uh, ruin their day. Oh, Anthony scored anyway, but three goals to one, folks. I don't think Everson's made a save, to be honest. Everything just keeps going in the back of the net. Yeah, AI is a worry of mine on world class here. I mean, it's really bad. This I know this is default sliders and people are going to come in and say, well, you're playing on default. What do you expect? But it's like, yeah, but this is meant to be the standard, the standard, you know, sliders to play on. And uh, I'm not getting a whole lot from the AI defensively like attacking wise yeah they've looked okay they've had a few chances but if this is just because I'm playing on slow then uh, I'm going to be worried so yeah we'll probably crank it up to normal in the next game uh, when I put that one out against probably Barca Real Madrid maybe uh, and just to see what happens here we go can we defend this time we can that's not a penalty crowd looks good Pep Guardiola looks good Telling uh, the other keeper that he might be coming on soon if Edison continues to play the way he is. Anyway, a chance to deliver this. It's going to be De Bruyne towards the front post. Anthony gets it up, falls to the floor. De Bruyne again. Is he not offside? Well, how bad are these goalies? <laughs> this is insane. First game, it's 3-2. We're not even into the second half yet. There is a lot of goals in this game. I don't know how he's not offside. I don't know how he scored that. Have you ever seen a player swivel on a dime that good? That's insane. Now he's, he's managed to swivel his body 180 degrees in 0.2 of a second. Crazy. I thought he's offside. Clearly someone's playing him on. And we'll continue to, to keep the goals going here. Three goals to two. Madness. All right, here we go. Back to De Gea. We'll swing that all the way around to Jaden. Good little touch. Well, did the AI out there quite easy because he ran the other way. Bruno. One, two, he's on. Give it back to him. Lovely play. Cuts inside. I really don't know. I don't know how he's missed that. This AI is really bad, folks, on world class. They're really not good uh, defending at all. Should have scored that. Do you know what I mean? Like, turning them inside out there was just... Far too easy. Anyway, we'll keep playing. Here's Gundogan. Yeah, whatever, ref's not foul. Come on. I right, let that run through the old pie hole. Here is Haaland. Watch the runs. Foden. Uh, overlap. Well done, Dallo. And we're not going to get there because Foden got in his way. The fans don't look amused. Well, there was the finish. And uh, should have done better there. Got to hit the frame. All right, chance for the corner. We know they're going to play the short one. Hold him up. Oh, 
Roach just so quick to turn. It's a mission. Keepers ball all day. David De Gea just about got there. All right, we've got four minutes to stoppage time, wherever that came from. But yeah, countering Man City is so easy. Look at this. You're having a laugh? And I've missed it because I, my brain's gone. Don't know how we've missed that. Now we put it through the mixer. And there it is. And this time, make no mistake, four goals to two. Seriously, seriously, this is like playing on beginner defensively, defensively, folks. What's happened? I mean, number one, Anthony doesn't look great. Could do some work on his face there. I've never seen AI this bad on FIFA. And I don't know if it's a one-off. I don't know. Is it because we put it on slow? I mean, it's crazy. We've had four attempts this half. I think we scored them all. Anyway, it is what it is. We'll have to crank it up to legendary, I guess. <laughs> anyway, it's four goals to two. We still have a whole half to play. This is crazy. What is the... Uh... Let's have a look at the match stats here. So eight shots apiece. We've, we've had a very good conversion rate. I think that's the, the premise there. Right, well, let's go ahead and make some changes because I'm just going to bring on the likes of Ronaldo. Uh, we'll take off McTominay. We'll bring on Casemiro. Yeah, we'll take off Rash and we'll put Ronaldo on for a little bit of fun. Bosh. All right, second half begins. Crazy first half. Will the second half be the same? But definitely this game needs some work on the sliders front. As you can see, the AI are just not doing anything. It's, it's the same problem as FIFA 22. It has not changed at all. I'm telling you. Well, what's happened there? Well, that's great defending. Luckily he's offside. But it hasn't changed. It could be a problem with playing on slow. I don't know. Uh, but I've seen this happen before in the past. Where if you put the game on slow, the AI just... They don't really understand what's going on. And just stand around. And, and it's just this seems like that's what's happening but if that if that's the case then that's really worrying because you know you can't play this game on slow you just got to put it on hyper mode all right start again martinez start again with uh david de gea oh, we were going to go that way and we decided against it Varan. here is casemiro first touches ericsson i mean i do like the pace though i will say that i think the pace of this game right now actually feels all right the problem is that look how easy it is it's Ronaldo folks he's just come on and he's gonna do what he loves to do is he gonna do the C yeah this is I'm gonna say this is purely the game speed messing up and me playing on world class because you know to play Man City like this and, and score five goals. Here comes the old Hyper Motion Tech 2 stuff. This is pretty cool. Not going to lie. He hit that at, uh, I don't know what pace. But, you know, stuff like that is pretty neat to see. But, yeah. Worrying, worrying signs defensively here. But it's all right. Next match, we'll do Real Madrid-Barca. I would fully expect that to be a much better game. I think maybe what we do is we leave it on slow. And we put it on legendary, and uh, we go from there. Okay, Dallo decided that he was not going to do anything there, but the referee brought that back for a foul. Hello, uh, Alfie. So they're going to make a change. On comes uh, Mares. Off comes Mr. Phil Foden. Not too happy with his display. But Man City do have a chance. Oh, I thought he was going to pass that to me there. Martinez, get up. That's a, a powerful header. Comes back to Walker. Side to De Bruyne. Let's hold him up. No. Oh, I really can't stand defending on this game. I just can't defend. Jesus. All right. Sancho. Give that to Ronaldo's feet. Able to turn. Once again, we could just walk through the back line because it doesn't exist. Gundogan. I do think a lot of work needs to be done defensively for both these teams. Oh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons again. Close him down. So you kind of, you don't want to dive in, but it's very difficult to not dive in when the AI are on steroids. All right, here we go. Ericsson. Sancho. Man City are just literally 
all just sitting up top, not worried about defending it. Dallow, I mean, why would you defend when you've conceded five goals? Right, here we go again. I just, I'd love the, for this game to have more midfield. It just doesn't exist. There is no midfield. Anthony, quick feet. Try and see if he can actually take the AI on. Dallow, Ronaldo's in the box. How good's the ball in? Well, we're going for the back post instead. Start again. Casemiro back to uh, Martinez. We're going to fire this one out wide here to find uh, Malassia. Up the line to Sancho. Flicks it inside. It's going to be Bruno Fernandes. Close but no cigar. Another change for Manchester City. Gundogan's coming off. And Grealish has already put the captain's armband on before he's even got off the field. That is some accomplishment. There it is. Grealish probably has the best flowing hair physics in the game. So I look forward to that. But yeah, let me know if you guys have played this game. Are you seeing the same problems here? Because, you know, as I said, defensively, I'm a little bit concerned with what the AI are doing on Man City's part. They're not doing a whole lot. Uh, they're just standing... Oh, that's a nice little pass though, isn't it? Jeez, Louise. I don't know if this game feels right on slow. I just... I don't know. I don't feel like FIFA's physics and everything works well on slow anymore. It just feels off to me. I mean, this was a nice pass from Grealish. I'm just... I'm having a hard time of tracking runners and players. Maybe because I haven't played FIFA in moons ago. But still, David De Gea, you can't get beaten at your near post, son. You can't. It's not good enough. That is a that is a very nice looking face. Faces look unbelievable. Absolutely. All right. Five goals to three. We've got a Man United Tottenham match coming up here. Back in the day. All right, let's go. I think players are starting to get tired now as well. He's onside, you know. Look how easy that was. And then he's missed... This is stupid. Like, this is... EA, what have you done here? Huh? What have you done to this game with the AI? I mean, I just walked through them. Gosh. And you guys are seeing this in real time. I mean, it's all there for you to see. I mean, how easy was that from kickoff? Talk about eFootball, like a kickoff bug. This is pretty routine stuff. You ever see Man City concede six goals? Well, you have now. So, Man City three, Manchester United six. What is going on? All right, Haaland's off for a walk. All right, Mares. Yeah, I do feel like this game maybe has to be played on normal speed, which I'm going to fully do in the next match because this just doesn't feel right. All right, here we go again. Chance for uh, Anthony to get going. Ronaldo, you're going to probably want this, mate. You probably want it square. Yeah, that'll do. Nah, it's ridiculous. This is just pathetic. Is this on... Have I changed the difficulty? I'm, I'm generally concerned if I put this on beginner. I don't know what's going on. And you thought Ronaldo there took about a month to try and shoot it, so that needs to be rectified. Could have shot then, could have shot then. Finally decided to shoot there. I, I, don't, I really don't know what to say about this. I was not expecting to have 10 goals uh, in, the, in the opening game of FIFA 23. This is, this is just weird. All right, Bernardo Silva gets an out wide. Grealish. That's a missed challenge. Well, go on, go to him! I mean, luckily, da you know, David De Gea has made some decent stops. I mean, if, if he didn't, it probably would be 7-6 right about now. Rodri's coming off. Alvarez is coming on. I'm not even going to make any more changes because there's no point. This is madness. Anyway, here's Mares. It takes a bit of time. I don't know. I don't like the way that players are... What's the word? Joss jockeying. They, they seem to take a lot of time to get to the ball... It's hard work, this, folks. It is hard work. Anyway, we've got seven minutes till the full-time whistle. The referee shouldn't be adding any stoppage time on in this game, to be honest. There's no point. Oh, he's going for a run. 
It just fe it does feel really... I, I don't like this on slow. I think the game just doesn't feel right. So I think, honestly, you may have to be playing this on normal until they rectify these problems. I mean, look at this. Here we go again. We're off. Cut that back. Square it. Ronaldo. Overlap. Beautiful. Not good enough. And Cancelo's going to lose that. Ronaldo's going to steal it. We may even go for a par driver here. It's Ronaldo! It was rubbish. Didn't put enough venom on it. Now, at least we got to see the C. Well, that's a powerful header. Although, uh, what's the name? Missed it. Here's Walker. I don't know if there's a day one patch that needs to come out. Maybe. Fix some problems. Who knows? Oh, I've run straight past him there. Press the wrong button, lads. I'm always pressing the wrong buttons on this game. Lovely play from Bruno, even though that was De Bruyne. Uh, and there we go. It looks like that's going to be about it. Will we get one more goal? Maybe. We'll see. Ronaldo, head it back. Beautiful. Bruno. Ronaldo's through here. Oh, should have put it over the top. That's not a bad idea. Back to De Gea. Smack it clear. Man, that's a great pass. Ronaldo's onside here. I mean, that shouldn't be that easy. Surely. It surely shouldn't be. Oh, Bruno. Bruno. I <laughs> should have made it number eight. Well, I, I'm going to double check after I've recorded this that I put this on world class and not beginner because I, Man City were good attacking wise. I, I did struggle because I do feel like putting it on slow. Something's messing up the responsiveness. But you saw how dreadful they were defensively. I mean, an absolute shambles. And if this is the game, then it's not great, is it, when it comes to defending? Uh, just craziness. Anyway, let's have a look at the match stats for you. 7-3. Yeah, world-class AI. It's right there. It's right there. So, yeah, world-class AI is pathetic and pants, apparently. Yeah, we won. Where hey hey And there we have it. Fifth, I mean, they did have 15 attempts to 16. That is a lot of chances. I don't know. Something was up. There's something going on, whether it's the slow or world class not working together. Don't really know. Anyway, folks, that's all it for today. Well, not today, because we're going to be back with more matches throughout the day. But that is that's, that's out the way. Man City, Man United, job done. I'm going to go and play another match, probably Real Madrid, Barcelona. Put it on legendary this time, on normal, and see if it's the same shenanigans. But... Judging by this performance, defensively, Jesus. Anyway, we'll be back shortly. Till next time, subscribe for more FIFA all week, folks. And then we'll be streaming it on Friday. So stay tuned for that. But until next time, let me know your thoughts. Take care.